I mean, the lighting keeps going crazy, so apologies if the sun comes blaring in in a minute. I've never filmed here before in this location of my flat. Oh, that's annoying that you can see the reflection. But these prints have just gone up in my beauty room. I'm sorry that I haven't done a beauty room tour yet, but I am, I'm not there yet, to be honest. I am just sitting on a swivel chair at the minute. I still need to get some kind of a pink sofa or a pink chair to go in this position, but I'm really happy with my Desenio prints that I've got in this room. So I have very excitingly treated myself to a brand new handbag. It's been a long time in the making, to be fair. I've wanted this bag for so long. I mean, way over a year. I remember trying it on when I was in LA in April last year and I tried it on in Rodeo Drive and I was like, oh my God, I love it. But I didn't get it because I'm rubbish with spending a lot of money on myself. Like I get really anxious by like splurging on something. Yeah, basically I've wanted this bag for so long and I finally got it. So I thought I'd kind of do an updated what's in my bag video. Ready to say hello to my new baby. I mean, I'm just obsessed to be honest. I was very undecided whether to get this in like the grained leather, in nude or in black and in what size. So that's why it took me so long because I genuinely didn't, I couldn't decide on what bag I wanted. At the start, I wanted the small of the sunset. Then when I had a bigger phone, when I had the, I have the eight plus, I think, my phone didn't fit in the bag so please be wary if you're looking at these small sized bags online I mean what is the point in having a bag where you can't fit your phone so that's when I decided to go for the medium size I originally saw this in like a nude shade which was the summer shade that they had last season and it went out of stock and I was waiting for it to come back in stock it never did I spoke to YSL and I found out that actually that shade is not going to come back it was a last year's colour but then Matches stocked a new nude colour so I was like oh my god this is amazing ordered the nude off Matches please be aware that this isn't really a nude it's definitely not like the nude from last year it's more like mushroomy brownie colour which wasn't the shade that I was looking for, so I sent it back. I got the black, and I'm so, so, so happy that I went with the black because I just feel like it's timeless, it's classic, it's gonna last me forever, and I love the Painton black rock. I just think it looks so chic, and I'm just in love. But this is the Saint Laurent Sunset Medium bag. They do have it in large as well, and this is the Painton block crack. Crack? <laughs> Crock black is what I meant. <laughs> what I love about this bag is that you can dub it up to wear it like on the shoulder like this, or you can do it so like it's like a, oh I've done that wrong. There we go. Um, so you can do it so it's like a longer chain as well. It's nice and comfy on your shoulder because you've got the leather strap as well, which is great. You have got a pocket at the back. I've never used it, I'm not gonna lie. This, this, Pocket has not been used yet. <laughs> Obviously you've got the silver YSL on the front. You've also got this nice little tag here which is Saint Laurent on it. Um, and then it's like a popper for the opening. Oh, it just looks so pretty. Isn't it mad how a handbag can make us girls this happy? I've got a lot in here to be fair. I do kind of fill my bags when I have room. So I've got everything I need in this bag. So let, let's drive through. You have got a smaller pocket here. That's where I keep my money. And then you've got two bigger pockets, but also a little, like a little um, pocket there as well within this larger section. I mean, I would normally say that my phone is always the number one essential in my handbag, but to be honest, most of the time it's in my hand. So, <laughs> doesn't spend that much time in the bag, to be honest. So, in terms of the front section, I just have like loose change in there. Um, I have my card holder, which I've used for, I think, two years now, nearly two years. And it's my Gucci B one. I love the Gucci B print. My friend Jenna actually got me this card holder. And so I've got my bank cards in there. I've got my driving license. And uh, yeah, that this can actually go. Morale card, 16 to 25. <laughs> actually 27 now. Okay, that, that can go. I have my keys. I've had this key ring for 
forever. I actually got this Gucci key ring in Bista like years and years and years ago and I don't know I've just kind of kept it on my key ring ever since and I do really like it. It's like a nude Gucci logo um, key ring. So I've got my house keys on here. Uh, that's my burger alarm and then I've got my car keys. I still want to show you guys my car really um, so maybe we should do a like come drive with me video um, but I did get the Audi Q3 Sport, which, oh my god, I love so much. I love that you get this little flip around key. Easily amused. Easily amused. <laughs> I have quite a lot of makeup in here. So this is the bronzer that I've got in my bag at the minute. The Bare Minerals Gen Nude, which you can see is very well loved. I love this bronzer. This is in the shade Beige for Days. Then we have some mascara. I always, always, always have mascara on me. I just my favorite thing ever so um this is the benefit bad gal bang eyeliner you never know when you're gonna need eyeliner and this is my favorite one the benefit roller liner I've actually got a lot of benefit in here so i've got the mini of the precisely my brow which is so cute i have this eco tools brush i think this is called the cheek brush and i love it it's like a really really good size it's such a perfect like compact little cheek brush i can use this for blush i can use this for powder i can use this for bronzer like you can kind of use this for everything on your face and yeah i just love it i've had this brush for so long concealer i've got in my bag at the minute is the rimmel lasting radiance concealer in ivory this is a really nice dewy formula it's really yeah radiant which is what it says on the tin. And then a coal pencil. I always have one of these with me. And um, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Liner Gel Pencil. It's my favorite liner at the minute. Um, this is in the black, but I do, my favorite one is brown. And I went out and bought three the other day because Superdrug had a three for two. And I've lost them all already. Like I am the world's worst for losing pencils, eyeliners, lip pencils, just, yeah, I always lose them, which is super annoying. Where do they go? It's like bobby pins, where do they go? They're my little lip combo that I am seriously loving. Favorite lip liner of all time, the collection Lip Definer in Cappuccino. This is just the most perfect brown pencil. I mean, I say it's brown, it's like a deep nude. It just goes with every single lipstick. I've actually got it on at the minute. This is the Pillow Talk lip liner and the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. It's the best, the YSL uh, Rouge Volupt Shine. This is so annoying. It really frustrates me when brands do this for makeup packaging because once it rubs off you don't know what color it is it's so annoying like why don't they just print it on the actual tube i don't know what color this is but it is my favorite it's like a, a pinky rosy deep nude this is the most buttery creamy juicy lipstick ever like oh, i've got so many people hooked on this lipstick it's amazing then best lip gloss ever is the rimmel oh my gloss in glossy cat oh it's just so good let me put it on now it's like a nudie pink it's got a oh i got it on my lip <laughs> got a little bit of shimmer in it but it's such a gorgeous formula like it's my favorite lip gloss ever that's everything that's in the first section of my bag and then moving on to the second section we have practical things <laughs> So I've got my Bath and Body Works Let's Flamingo Antibacterial Hand Gel. I just feel like this is so important when you're getting on a plane, when you're getting on the train, just public transport in general. It's just so important to make sure that you don't have bacteria and germs on your hands. Bath and Body Works is just the best. Like when is it coming to the UK? Then we have this, which all my friends rely on me for. It's the Smile Breast Spray. <laughs> they do this in boots and whenever I'm in there, I always stock up because I have one of these in every single like bag that I've got. So I'm always, with one I just don't really like chewing chewing gum and when you've had chewing gum in your mouth for so long and like the taste is gone it just it literally makes me want to heave so I can't be dealing with that whenever I go out for dinner I will just spray my breast spray after I've finished eating or just throughout the day to freshen up but it's it's just amazing and all my friends are always like can I have some breast spray please <laughs> have a mirror because we need to check 
what is going on, especially if we're going out for dinner, you know, things in the teeth, you know, we don't want that. So I always carry a mirror on me. My friend Debbie actually got me this one. It's got a D on it. And it says, love you on the back. It's actually a little bit dirty now, but yeah, it's got like a more magnified side on one of the sides, which is really, really handy. We have a, um, I never know how to pronounce this brand, masked. Is that how you say? Eight obstructing boots, so I've got a nail file because I need a nail file in my life at all times, <laughs> just in case. Comb, I mean, if you have extensions, you'll be able to sympathize with me. We need to carry something on us that uh, keeps the hair in check because I, look, even now, it just gets so knotty. And we have OPI, the Pro Spa Nail and Cuticle Oil. I put this on religiously like every single day. It really, really helps with the condition of your nails and your cuticles. It's the best thing to condition them. So I always put this on like day and night, but if I've washed my hands and I'm reaching my handbag and I see this, I quickly just put it on because you cannot apply this enough. Like it's the most beautiful oil ever. I have an Invisi bobble because I mean, when the wind hits my hair, it's not a great look for me, so. Invisi bubbles are always in my bag. Well, there's definitely some Kirby grips at the bottom as well. I have some headphones. I mean, I need to get on board with the whole wireless thing. I mean, I did have wireless headphones, but they broke. Like, they literally don't connect to my phone anymore, which is really annoying, and I have no idea why. Um, and then I swear I had some AirPods at some point somewhere. They've gone. I just lose things. I'm really bad for losing things. So at least with these, I mean, they're quite hard to lose. And then last but not least, we have perfume. This is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Mini. It's such a good size. It actually fits a lot in there. I mean, this has taken me ages to go through. And when I do run low, I just top it up. I've got a full size of the Viva La Juicy. So I just top it up and keep filling it up. Um, so I've always got this with me because it's so handy. So that is everything in my brand new beautiful handbag which I'm so in love and obsessed with. How nice is it when you work hard and you save money and then you treat yourself to something very special. And I know that I have this bag in my life for years and years to come. I'm excited for the journey, babe. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video diving into my bag. I mean, we all like to be a bit nosy sometimes, don't we? I really hope you're having a good week. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you are. And I will see you bitches in my next video. Bye.